a little bit of a Rona update. Um, still able to buy silver. This is five ounces, and yes, I'm still buying because the market price is the market price. Not you should never ever look at the uh, paper price. That is the old pricing mechanism. Whatever they're selling it for is what it's worth currently on eBay. So eBay is literally setting the price right now. Um, I mean, along with other people putting on crazy premiums, but you know, since it's decoupled from the paper market, yes, these are my bed sheets. Leave me alone. Um, since it's decoupled from the paper market, I mean, <laughs> the price is what the price is. <laughs> the price is whatever we're will like we are as uh, silver bugs and people that uh, you know buy silver, even the panic buyers are willing to pay for. God damn, I'm washing my hands so much, even my nails are freaking dry. Look at that. That's ridiculous. Jesus. Um, But, yeah, that, I mean, that's what it is now. So, still buying silver. I think it's still at a decent price. It's probably about $10 more than what I was buying a couple weeks ago. But I also got in when, you know, silver price was down uh, back when it was coupled to the paper market. Silver price was down probably... A couple dollars at sixteen forty or so an ounce, so I was still buying five ounce pieces. This one's pretty cool. I kind of like it. A little Aztec pattern. Um, another thing. So people talking about, hey, why are we bailing out these companies, these corporations? We need to let them just live. It, let, let them uh, li uh, pretty much uh, be independent. Not you know, they haven't paid taxes. Blah blah blah. Y you have to understand it. They don't bail out these banks because, in a sense, they quote-unquote want to. They bail them out because they have to. Uh, they don't bail out these companies because they want to. They bail them out because they have to. Because if if the banks are insolvent and they do a bail-in, guess who's going to be on the streets? You and me. I ain't going to be on the streets, though. I'm probably going to be at my house. But... You and me are going to be on these streets talking about, hey, um, I can't believe I lost all my money to a bank bail-in. This is BS. I don't understand it. Yeah, I'm kind of sniffling a little bit. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I think I had that Rona back in January, to be very honest. I had a very, 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 very bad flu back in January. And all the symptoms that they're talking about, headaches and um, just sudden flu-like symptoms in coming out of almost what seems like nowhere. Definitely, I think I had this thing back in January. And I haven't really been right since. And antibiotics, when I took them at the time, amoxicillin and all that, just was not, um, just was not really working as well. Um, anyways, but you and I will be on the streets. You and I will uh, have. There will be serious social unrest. Blah blah blah. Um, the little saying I have that I've made for for this is when people ask, you know, why are we bailing up the banks? We shouldn't be doing this. We should be bailing up the people. I do agree. I wish the money would come directly to the people. The $1,200 is a bit of a slap in the face, especially if you live in um, high standard of living areas such as California, even South Florida, especially New York. I mean, some people are paying $5,000 a month on just child care. So what the hell is $1,200 going to do, especially when that's just child care? That's $1,200 a month, of course, is not for rent or child care or anything else. It's for food. <coughs> It's not for your bills or anything like that. But what is $1,200 going to buy in a place like New York where they have a, such a high standard of living and everything costs so much more? Um, all prices are jacked up, even gas or anything else like that. Like, What do you expect $1,200 going to do in those areas? So uh, the saying, as I was saying, uh, the saying is if the people are asleep, the corporations are your bed. People need these corporations they need these cor the government and, of course, people themselves, whether they want to admit it or not, they need these corporations so they can stay asleep. So they have a job to go to every day. So they have a place to actually talk with other people and do things and something to complain about their lives, blah, blah, blah. Now you see all these people are home. I'm seeing more and more virtual uh, uh, happy hours and all this other stuff. And this shit's cute, but at the same time, like, you know, people need their jobs because they don't know what else to do we've been so brainwashed we've been so <sighs> programmed that we think we really need these jobs and in a sense we do because a lot of people aren't farming 
a lot of people aren't buying ammunition. <laughs> At least they weren't. Now they are. Um, a lot of people weren't buying silver hard assets or anything like that. They were just dependent on the paper market. A lot of paper millionaires have now become uh, paper uh, thousandaires, I guess, hundred thousandaires. You know, they've lost so much value in in such a short period of time. You know, a lot of people that thought they could retire next month or a couple months from now are thinking about like, oh, well, I have to stay a little bit longer. So you're seeing a lot of that still, of course. So, I mean... When, when you look at all of this, you know, they have to bail out these banks. They have to bail out these companies because if they don't bail out these companies, I was just watching something about Boeing. Boeing employs about 2 million people directly and indirectly, especially through their vendors and suppliers, and they are the largest exporter in the U.S. Let that sink in. They have to save Boeing, especially not even just for the um, just for the. Uh, uh, just for the thing, uh, just for the, just because of the military contracts and uh, intellectual property that they have that the government um, uses or actually requests from them and works with them on joint projects, so on and so forth. They have to keep these companies afloat or else you and I will be on the streets trying to shoot some shit up just so we can get some food. I mean, some people will try to shoot some shit up. Some people will just be getting shot because... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god listen it, it, if you haven't been prepping if you have if you weren't prepping before this sorry about that my nephew's calling we'll call him back in a second but if you haven't if you haven't been prepping and if you weren't prepping i uh, i really do hope that y you kind of get it together after this if you can get through this um i i think even one of my co-workers at my night job may have gotten it because some of the symptoms she was talking about, um, I had back in January, and they're they fall in line with this uh, current outbreak. And she works, uh, I think, at the port of uh, Miami or Fort Lauderdale uh, port. So I, I, everybody, just just be careful, wash your hands, um, and just understand. Try and take advantage of this as best as you can. Hopefully, you're in good health. Hopefully, you still have some type of employment. Um, I have both my jobs, thankfully, and uh, one of them I'm considered essential, so I still have to drive in. But with all of this, you know, just please, please, um, you know, just make sure you, you make it through this and then or try your best to make it through this and make sure that you learn from this and start doing things that will actually put you in a better spot eventually. You know, um, <laughs> little things like this. I mean, I think I bought this at one hundred and fourteen dollars. I think, yeah, I think it's about $114 for this. I mean, it, it's more than I would want to spend for it. This is five ounces. Um, but at the same time, the price is the price. Anyways, let me call my nephew back. He's uh, stationed over in Germany, so I haven't talked to him in a while. So uh, definitely want to give him a call back. All right, man. Peace. And always uh, thank you for listening. Oh, and... uh. Wash your hands, even if your thumb looks dry as a frickin' desert. <laughs>